Huanka, be honest, are we really habitable exoplanets? Well, there are several reasons why we might not be. For me, it's because I could have an atmosphere as thin as Mars or thick clouds like Venus that block detection, or I might just be a barren rock. Plus, Trappist 1 is infamous for its strong flares that could strip away atmospheres. Uh, what's so bad about having an atmosphere similar to Venus or Mars? An atmosphere similar to Mars is too thin to trap heat, leading to a cold surface. My low mass, about one third that of the Earth, makes it hard to even hold such a thin atmosphere. A Venus-like atmosphere could trap excessive heat, causing a runaway greenhouse effect, boiling any water. Hey guys, what's the topic of debate here? Oh hey Aranyani, we're discussing how y'all are uninhabitable and I'm not. <laughs> oh really? You should check with Ostara on that. Hey Ostara. Ah, hello! How are you, Rumoko? Is everything alright? Juanka and Aranyani thinks I'm uninhabitable. Are they right? Oh, well, this is a bit awkward, but they are right. WHAT?! TELL ME MORE! You are nestled within the habitable zone, but atmospheric stripping from solar flares looms as a constant threat. Your electric currents warms your surface, but also nons away at your atmosphere. You might find yourself tidally locked, resulting in glaring contrast between your heated day side and frigid night side. And don't forget about stellar radiation. Those high levels of X-rays and XUV radiation could slowly erode your atmosphere, despite your greater mass potentially helping retain it. Oh, wait, what about you? Are you uninhabitable? Unfortunately, yes. My dense, steamy atmosphere would cause a runaway greenhouse effect, making it too hot for life and likely boiling away any liquid water. Solar flares could also strip away lighter gases, further reducing my habitability. Okay, what about a sigma? I probably exist in a state of runaway glacier, where my surface is permanently covered in ice, despite being in the habitable zone. Despite being in the habitable zone, intense cold and lack of a thick atmosphere prevents effective heat distribution across my surface, stopping liquid water from existing. I guess the Proxima Centauri system was right. We are just barren rocks. Hey, just because we aren't habitable doesn't mean we are not interesting. I guess you're right. Thanks, Ostara. 